What's poppin'? It's Mello, back at you with another video. And today what we're getting into is emotional piano melodies. We're gonna get straight to it. You know, I'm gonna show you how to voice out the chords and everything, how to make the melody, how to make it really penetrate, things that'll make it emotional. But first, before we get to that, be sure to put a like on the video, subscribe, click the bell to get notified. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we start with is the chord progression. Now, we are in a C sharp as far as the scale. So that's the one. This is a six, seven, one chord progression. If you have any issues understanding that, don't worry, just copy the notes. And outside of that, if you want to understand chords better, you can watch some of my chord tutorials. I have a bunch where I break down everything as far as all the fundamentals so you can have a great understanding. So that's the progression. I did some things over here with the chords and everything. But the first thing I'm gonna do is work on the timing of the chords, where the chords are gonna hit. So, you know, as far as hitting them at the end of each pattern, we're not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is select both of these, hold shift, drag right there. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one over here. Select, get the pencil, hold shift, drag right there. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is voicing. So I'm gonna take this note, push it down an octave, take this note, which is the third, the middle of the chord. I'm gonna push that down for a bass note. Then I'm gonna do the C. Then I'm gonna do all the bottom notes over here. Let's see what we got so far. I think that should be in reverse. So I'm gonna push this up, push this down. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is take these, push them up as far as the thirds. We're gonna make this real wide. Gonna kill these two, drag these last ones out. Let's listen to it now. So all these middle notes, I'm gonna copy, control V, push them down an octave, move them over. Let's listen to it now. So the next thing we're about to get into is some melodic stuff. So I'm gonna work on the bottom notes. So all I'm doing right now is adding basic passing notes around the mid octaves, you know, around the C4, C5, stuff like that. So that's all I'm really doing. The notes are not gonna be all up in the middle and stuff like that. They're gonna be basically touching, you know, one of the notes that's about to come or one of the notes that just passed as far as, you know, in the scale. So if you look, that's one note down. That's one note down. So let's listen to that. I'm gonna take this away. Now this is what we wanna do. All of this in here, we're gonna make movement in this part. We're gonna leave this alone. Same with this over here. We're gonna do this part, put some movement in there, leave this alone. Because at that part, that's where we want the beat to breathe a little bit as far as the melody. We'll do some of the same stuff over here. Move this. This is cool because that's right next to that note that's coming. And that creates some variation. Instead of this note, it's that note right there. So we did one line of melody real quick. Let's listen to it. So what we're gonna do now, from C5 up to, you know, C6-ish, we wanna create a top melody. Now for the top melody, 
I want a rhythm like this. Then we'll put a little bit in there in this pocket right here, and then it's going to breathe. Right now, I'm going to find the notes for this melody with that rhythm that I just made. So we'll go. I like that right there. And I'm going to do a grace note right there. If you don't know what a grace note is, you'll find out today. So when you slide this back a little bit, push this down and we're going to do that. We got a little top melody right there. Now, remember I said we want it a little bit up in here. So Now we're going to do the same thing over here, except we're going to use different notes because we want some variation. We'll have the same starting point, which was this note right here. Again, same rhythm. Put a grace note right there. So all we did was go up, skip a step right there, came back down, skipped another one, you know. If you watch the Melody Basics series, one of the things I told you about top melodies is, you know, with steps and skips, it's really about where you're going. So we know where we're going to end up over here. We went up, but we had to come back down to get there. I'm going to put a triplet there. Just to spice up the rhythm. We'll come out of that back to steps. And we're going to harmonize that right there. All right. So you see, again, we just focus on basically this top right here after we did all that and we followed the rhythm that I mentioned. So let's listen to what we have now so far. I'm going to take this away and just for variation, we'll have that. Let's do a little bit more for variation. So right there for the variation, I added a walk down. And if you look, we started a where does that walk down to? That walks down to a note below A, which is a G sharp. So that G sharp is gonna sound nice going back into that A, of course. So let's listen to what we have so far. So we got the top melody, we got the bottom melody. It all seems pretty good. Let's just do a little bit more. We're not gonna overdo it, but I'm gonna add a few notes here and then I'm gonna add some harmony here. So let's see what we can add on this. We'll add those. Those are going to go into this, as far as this note right here. It's walking into it. So we got that. Let's go to the harmony. Now I got a whole tutorial on harmony. You should definitely look at that in the Melody Basics video. So I'm just going to skip every other note on some of these notes. Now, I just feel like these notes would sound good. So let's see how it sounds. So this is the full melody so far, and we're going to get into really making it, you know, sad and all that stuff in a moment. So let's listen to it. So 
so we got that now this is one of the important parts i'm going to select these notes i'm going to lower the bass notes i'm going to lower them about here we're going to do a lot of this manually we'll do some randomizing but we're going to do a lot of this manually so we're going to do that and then as far as the middle notes we'll take a lot of these and push them a little bit above where I put the bass notes. We need to solve velocity because you can't really make something sad with a piano playing super loud the whole time and stuff like that. So we're gonna move the top melody notes a little bit above, you know, pretty much what I just moved down, which was the middle notes. We're gonna go to the randomizer and, you know, we're just gonna move that down a little bit. Now, if I do that and we go to control Z, you know, it's, it's pretty much in the same place. I'm going to redo that, but it gives a lot of the notes, you know, more space and stuff like that. So let's listen to it. So we did that. Now what we're going to do is the strumming. Now you could go here and you could just do the strum and you could adjust the time and all that stuff. We'll do that a little bit. And I'm going to go manually adjust some of the notes myself just to make it more human, because when it comes to actual playing, everything is never perfect. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to push nine and I'm going to zoom in. And the main focus is going to be some of these chord notes. I'm going to move this back a little bit. And in most cases, I'm sliding the notes back. I'm gonna slide one note a little bit forward that time, one back, let's see how that sounds right there with the metronome over it. So this is what we're gonna do now. I've been using addictive keys. I'm gonna use a better piano with Keyscape. It's gonna be a softer piano. And I'm also gonna put some reverb on it because the reverb and the soft notes and the chords, like those are the keys to giving it that sadness, that emotionalness that you're looking for. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna copy. We're gonna go to pattern two. I'm gonna paste. All right, so we got the ballot patch. Let's listen to how this sounds. Oh, he needs some milk. All right, my computer is basically gonna explode if I play this while I'm recording. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to render the pattern. All right, so let's listen to it with a better piano now. Now, you see this note right here? I'm gonna go make that way softer because softer notes, it just, it just tickles, it just tickles the emotion, so. I'm gonna go back and redo that. Let's go back to addictive keys. We're gonna do that right there. You, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> like it's it's just it's just it's just ah, Chris. All right, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna pay, take it back to Keyscape. I'm gonna render it back down. Listen to it in Keyscape again. All right, so I made a couple different adjustments. I made the back end as far as the bass notes lower and i also made a note right around here louder it's this note right here so let's listen to it real quick there we go even though it already has reverb i'm gonna add a little bit just to give it that that tender touch for an emotional, sad beat. So we got the reverb. Let's listen to it one more time.
just to give you the full effect. I put a drum loop under it, put some things under it. Listen to it, see how it sounds now. about chords and chord progressions and how to make them and things of that nature i have a couple core videos that'll be very useful for you when it comes to getting that knowledge if you want to step your melody game up or if you want to know some things about making melodies and stuff like that i got a few videos in the melody basic series that'll give you a great foundation as far as making melodies i'll be sure to have a link to the melody basics playlist in the description it'll give you a great foundation as far as making melodies and everything i'll be back with more tutorials soon but other than that i'll see y'all another day somehow some way i'm out <laughs>